What's up guys, Dan here for BladeReviews.com and today I've got an oldie but a goodie on the table I'm talking about the Ontario Rat 1. This is a classic knife, I'm not going to pretend like this is some sort of groundbreaking review that I'm going to be doing of a uh, you know brand new hot off the press kind of knife but I'll tell you it's a, a folding knife that I've been enjoying for a long time now and wanted to uh, do this review at some point so I figured no better time than the present to to get that done. So, let's uh, let's do our little Rat 1 review here. Put this one in the books. We're going to start off with some quick specs as usual. So, the Rat 1 has an overall length of 8.6 inches. It's got a 3.5 inch long blade, and it weighs 5 ounces. So, what we have here is what some would call kind of a hard-use folder. It's definitely a sturdy folding knife. Uh, I've got a couple knives that I want to compare it to the, the Rat 1. First off, I've got a Cold Steel American Lawman. And so you can see the Rat 1's definitely bigger than the American Lawman. Something that's interesting, though, is uh, you got a price tag around 30 bucks for the Rat 1, and you're looking at around 50 for the American Lawman. And both are, you know, sturdy folding knives. Uh, here's an option that's a little bit cheaper than the Rat 1. Here is... A, a Kershaw Tremor. So you can see that is much bigger than the Rat 1 and that can be had for uh, just under $25. So giving you some other options there. Here are some things that might be somewhat comparable to the Rat 1. Maybe they're, they're competing. Maybe not exactly. Okay. Let's take a closer look at that blade which is a simple no frills drop point blade and I'll tell you it really does kind of uh, set the tone for the entire knife I mean, looking at this thing it is very simple it is designed with you know function over form here and it just gets the job done which is part of the reason why I like it so much so we've got this just you know real simple blade here drop point high full flat grind uh, nice kind of satin finish that is sort of uh, semi mirror finished you can see the camera in the background there and I'll tell you, they did a really good job with this one. This is a made in Taiwan, and they put a nice edge on it. It's been well finished. Taking a look at our blade stock here, you're looking at 3 millimeter thick OS 8 stainless steel. And OS 8 is, uh, you know, a mid-range Japanese steel. It's not going to hold its edge forever, but I've actually had pretty good success with this, this $30 knife. I think it's a nice steel for, for the price point here. Uh, moving on to our handles, what we have are nylon handle scales over full stainless steel liners. Now these are not milled out, and uh, I think that if Ontario wanted to, they could probably shave off at least several tenths of an ounce by, by milling out these thick liners. And uh, it might you know, make it a slightly more manageable knife for some people. Five ounces is, is not the lightest thing, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, anyhow, construction is good. You've got a very sturdy, kind of open design here. You've got all these little pillars, and they are kind of close together, so if you're trying to, to thread some cloth through there to clean them out, it's you know, not the easiest knife, but it is, uh, it is easy enough. And everything is well finished here. All the parts line up, all the scales and the liners. It's nice and smooth. Everything's screwed together. You get your choice of color. I've got the uh, the green version here, which I really like, but I believe they also make a brown version. I think there could be some sort of desert tan version, of course. They make this in black as well. So you really get some options, which is fun for a more inexpensive knife like this. You could have you know just a collection of rat ones if you really wanted to uh, to do that. So, and I think they're you know the, the choice of handle color is certainly cool. Uh, in hand, the Rat 1 feels very comfortable. It's a substantial and thick handle. really does fill the hand well. It's a good size, so you're able to get a firm grip on it. There is uh, a thumb ramp here with some meaningful jimping. It's, it's not the most aggressive jimping. You can see my thumb does slide up a bit, but it will provide some traction for you, some feedback, and your fingers are tucked safely out of the way. You've got this sort of finger choil that's set back on the knife, so you're able to really get some work done with this one. I do like it. Uh, it, it fits well in reverse grip, too, if you uh, ever needed to, to throw it in that grip. Just here to say that you can do that. Your, your thumb has got a nice spot for it uh, there on the pommel, and it feels very comfortable yet again. Let's take a closer look at the pocket clip. 
which is again it's just you know no frills here simple sturdy black clip nice and large it's got three screws here to anchor it down it's not going to be going anywhere I, I really do like the clip it offers good retention there's good good spring on that clip so it's not gonna you know the knife isn't gonna fall out of your pocket and I really like the option that it gives you here it gives you a choice of four corners carry so that is great to see because everybody you know is usually a little bit different in their carrying preferences so it's great to see that on a, a relatively inexpensive knife like this they've gone ahead and given you a luxury that even some high-end end knives don't offer, so it's it's quite nice. Pocket clip's excellent. The uh, nylon here is pretty smooth. Uh, it's lightly textured, so this isn't going to tear up your pants or anything like that. It's uh, really it's pretty well done. Let's talk about the deployment here, our, how we are going to open this blade. And, of course, you've got a pair of ambidextrous thumb studs. They're large. They're easy to get at. And you can pop that knife open quickly and easily. Really do like the thumb studs on this one. It's been well done. You're going to be able to easily access them on either side of the handle. And with just a flick of the thumb, you know, you're in business here. As far as our lockup is concerned, well, you've got a sturdy liner lock. Mine is kind of in the middle at this point. I've been carrying and using this one. It, it never was extremely early, but I, I have broken the knife in a little bit. And it is, you know, it's holding firm. There's absolutely no blade play at all. The thing is solid as a rock. And the uh, liner lock is still easy enough to disengage when you need to disengage it. So I think it's just a fantastic uh, way to, to round out an excellent folding knife here. The Rat 1 is a classic, and it's a much-deserved classic, I think. It's just, you know, it's nothing, uh, nothing too special here. You don't have anything that's super exotic, and it's not the prettiest pony in the stable. But I'll tell you, if you need something that'll get the job done... For around 30 bucks, you could do a lot worse than this Rat 1. This is actually a very nicely done knife. So I totally recommend it if you're in the market for, for something like this. Larger EDC, kind of a good sturdy utility knife, and it uh, gets my full endorsement. So that's the review, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching the review. hope it was helpful, perhaps even kind of fun. Again, guys, this is Dan for BladeReviews.com. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Always enjoy hearing your feedback. What do you think of the Rat 1? And as always, take care, be safe, and I'll be coming back soon with another knife review.